I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will review the concepts learned in trigonometry about bearing angles, sine law and cosine law. The question here is, a ship sails from A on a bearing of 0.65 degrees for 10 kilometers, then changes direction at B to a bearing of 110 degrees for 12 kilometers to reach at dock C. Find the distance and the bearing of C from A. Now let's recall what is bearing angle. Bearing angles are angles which are measured clockwise from north, right? So uh, let us show north in this direction. Let's say that is the north for us, right? So we are saying this is north. Now when I say that a ship sails from A on a bearing of 65 degrees, 065 degrees, always bearing angles are written in three places, right? So 65 will be written as 065. So this angle is clockwise from north. Let us say that is 65 degrees, right? So it sails for 10 kilometers. So from A, let me draw a line showing this path of 10 kilometers. Now it says, then changes direction at B to a bearing of 110 degrees. So, so let's again draw the north so that these norths are all parallel lines. Okay. And changes direction to 110 degrees. So 110 degrees. So, okay. Let me just extend this a bit here. So we'll kind of get an idea. This is like 180 degrees and that is 90 degrees, correct? So 110 is slightly more than 90. So we'll say, let's say this is kind of 110 degrees for 12 kilometers. So we'll make a line that's slightly longer than this. Okay, let us say this is the line. So what we have here is bearing of 65 degrees. Let me write this as 65 degrees and the distance is 10 kilometers. This is from point A to B. At B, the angle changes to 110 degrees. And it goes for a distance of 12 kilometers. We need to find the distance from A to C, the end point C. That is the equation. So let me connect this A to C. Okay. This is what we need to find. The diagram, I hope, is absolutely clear. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. So if we look into this diagram, we know that the angle 65 degrees from the north, and these two knots are parallel, you can take AB as a transverse line. So this angle here should also be 65 degrees. Is it okay? So this angle should also be 65 degrees. Alternate interior angles. How about this one? Now that forms a linear pair, correct? So at B, this forms a linear pair. So sum of 110 and this should be 180. So that number is 180 minus 110. So that should be 70 degrees. Is that okay? So we find this angle part of angle B as 65 alternate interior angles between parallel lines and the other angle using straight line which is 80, 180, 180 minus 110 gives you 70 degrees. So what we find here is that the angle B is equal to 65 degrees plus 70 degrees which is 135 degrees. So in the triangle ABC, we know two sides and the included angle. So what is known to us here? It is known that we have side, angle, side. So in a triangle, if you know side, angle, side, the included angle, then you should be applying cosine law. Right? So we need to apply cosine law to find the third side. 
So let's apply the cosine law to find the third side, which is AC. Right, so AC square will be equal to what? Sum of these two squares, which is 10 square plus 12 square minus 2 times product of these two, which is 10 times 12 times cosine of the angle times cos of 135 degrees. Is it okay? So that is the cosine law. I hope you remember the formulas, right? Okay. So we just applied the formula for the given situation. Now we can actually calculate this value. So it is 10 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 10 times 12 times cos of 135 and that gives you 413.7 let's say 413.7 so that is what we get this is AC square so what is AC equals to AC is square root of this correct so AC is square root of 413.7 so let's find square root of our answer and that is equal to uh, 20 point let's round it to 34 okay so 20.34 the units are kilometers as expected this side is much longer than the other two since the angle included is 110 right it's a big angle okay so we, that is a good answer okay 20.34 so we know the side so what we have done so far is we have found the distance between a and c now we need to find bearing of angle c that means from a bearing of angle c so that is to say that we need to find the angle which is kind of this much right so that is the angle we need to find now this angle is sum of two angles 65 plus that is it okay let's call this angle as theta how do you find theta we know now all the three sides the third side just calculated is 20.34 kilometers now we have a set with side and opposite angle right known so we can find that so we can apply the sine law so let's apply the sine law now to calculate the angle since we need to find theta I'll put it on the top so we can write this as sine theta over the side given opposite to sine theta which is 12 should be equal to sine of the angle which is 135 for us 135 degrees divided by just calculated side which is 20.34 right so that gives us the value of sine theta so sine theta from here can be calculated as we can cross multiply so we get 12 divided by 20.34 times sine of 135 degrees right so let's use the calculator find this answer so 12 divided by 20.34 will multiply this by sine of 135 degrees and that is equal to uh, let's write down here 0 0.4171 so what is theta equals to theta is sine inverse right sine inverse of uh, 0 0.4171 which is let's calculate so we have shift sine inverse of the answer right so that is equal to we get angle which is 24.65 degrees right so that is the angle theta so theta for us is 24.65 right now what is the angle the bearing angle from a to c so the bearing angle is the ang sum of these two right so the bearing angle will be 65 plus 24.65 right so let's calculate this so we'll just add 65 to this plus 65 is equal to 89.6 let's say right degrees so that is the bearing angle 
So we'll write down our answer. The answer is that the distance is from A to C. We can round this to 2.3 kilometers at a bearing of 089.6 degrees, right? So I hope it is absolutely clear how to solve such questions. Important thing is to sketch the diagram neatly and then uh, solve the triangles. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.